ATL, what it do, baby? Don't go out with her. Oh. Oh. I'm here. I'm here for a good time. So we is out here, Scorpio gang. They thought they was trying to keep me in the box. Never. <laughs> the hell, I am out here. We out here. Yes. People acting like there's no line. There was definitely a TSA line, first of all. And second of all, people going crazy like it's the end of the world. Like, I need a rapture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We made it to Atlanta and everything closes early out here. I don't like the South. Here I am. Where the food at? We'll be back to make sure that I was no, you're going good. somewhere. So I'm calling the you know. <gasps> no, you're good. Before y'all Where the food is? Where the Oh damn shame. They, they really got Starbucks in here. They bougie up in here. They got hot tamales in here. They're Starbucks. But where we about to eat at? Cause I need food, food, and this ain't it. Seven fifty for a emotional support support animal thank you i got you i'm vlogging y'all so just yo what happened yeah y'all we had the trap museum we had the trap museum we in the trap Safety hazards. Let's stop being ratchet. Thank you. 
Also make beats, which is fucking you fire. Can make beats, you can make beats, which is fucking fire. Okay. You can make beats. Make sure y'all pull up to the Trap Music Museum, 6:30 Travis Street, ATL. You feel me? What's up? Do you work here? Tag me. That's right. That's right. Working in. Like you know, you gonna tag him in? What's your name? You gonna tag you in? Hey, this is James, man. King J underscore one, marketing and director for the Trap Music All Museum. Right. Hustle gang today to, to death to me. All right, y'all right. have a good one. All make sure right y'all, make sure y'all holler. Scorpio Chronicles, you already know about. Scorpio Chronicles, That's you know right. what that means. You feel yes. me? <laughs> <Have a good laughs> Can somebody get me making this beat real quick? Somebody take my beat. I record it. Somebody take my phone and, and record it. Okay. Wait, you gotta cut this. Oh, okay. oh where? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be style, kicking back, looking at my life, watching my future and my past. See the places I'ma go, about to have these bitches sad. See, all they wanna know is how come Ari ain't looking back. No, Ari ain't looking back. She's cutting soul ties. Ari is looking to the future with these big brown eyes. Five five with the sun that glows with the sunrise. Ari is one divine person, and there can only be one divine masculine. A lot of these men be masking it. Good morning, Scorpio Chronicles. We have reached the end of this fun, lovely tour of mine of Atlanta. I had so much fun in Atlanta. I made some really dope memories with some really beautiful women. I met some new people. You know, like, I love the energy out here. Like, 
Southern hospitality is like an actual real thing. Like I've been hearing about it, but as a New Yorker, we don't know nothing about that. So um, yeah, like I'm kind of sad. I gotta go. My stuff is all packed. I got way too much food in here. Like I'm gonna miss this little bill. I love it here. Got some black girl magic on the court. Okay. But I love this little art thing that they have on the very corner. I have no idea what that is, but I love it, love it, love it. Like, thank you so much, Atlanta. I had so much fun. Um, I totally really want to come back to Atlanta. Like, I think it's so dope to have a whole state where it's just, you know, black excellence. I'm sure there's more to Atlanta that I have not seen. But so far, what I did see, like, I like it. I like the vibes. It, I can see why people from New York moved to Atlanta, honestly. I don't know if I want to make that transition. But, you know, maybe in the future, I can have something out here. I don't know. But overall, this trip was really dope. Like, I had so much fucking fun. And what's so funny is, like, everybody was telling me, oh, don't go on the trip, coronavirus, da 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 Like, excuse me. Do you know who I am? I don't believe the same rules that y'all believe in. You know, I don't live the same life y'all live in, even though we coexist and co-create in this world. So I hope that this trip, this vlog is for somebody out there for you to see, like, don't you dare stop living your life. Things in life are always going to happen that will cause you to be in fear or be in doubt or question yourself, or you will have moments where the momentum that has been picking up, it declines a little bit or it slows down a little bit. Understand that the way God works is what even I'm understanding, thank God, because I, you know, I had to get a little word this morning. But even what I'm realizing is there are moments where God is going to make you be still because even I had to realize, like, I be trying to do things and, like, just expect God to be okay with it. And that's not how life works. But I'm going to do the things that God puts in my heart to do. I think that's a better approach to have it. I know that not everybody is religious or spiritual. I really don't think, to be honest with you, that it matters where you get a word or where you get a message or where you get a seed planted from as long as it's a divine seed, a divine word, a divine spark. You know, I really truly believe that. Sometimes you may not like who the messenger is. Sometimes the messenger may come in the form of a pastor. It can come in the form of a crackhead or a bum, but you should still be open to receiving the messages. I remember when I first began my spiritual journey, I actually... I was like walking on Jamaica Avenue or whatever, and I was walking through Kings Park, and a homeless man had stopped me. And I sat there on a bench with a homeless man. I was about maybe 21, 22 at the time, 18, 19, and I had a conversation with this man. And although there were plenty of skeptical, skeptical, ugh, skeptical people walking past in observance, like, what the hell is this girl doing with this homeless man? What could y'all possibly be talking about? Even at that moment, I didn't really give a fuck about what nobody thought because what the wisdom and the knowledge that this homeless man gave to me put me on the path to be where I am in front of this camera in Atlanta talking to you, giving my word, my message, my sermon, however you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, everybody needs a good word. Everybody needs something to let them know, like, no matter what you have done, no matter who you used to be, God fucks with you. God wants to help you. God wants to do something amazing within yourself. People don't like to talk about God, but to be honest, if you don't got God, you don't fucking have nothing. You don't have shit. You cannot survive this world at all. Nor can you survive the things that are of not of this world, but still have a direct effect on us in this world. Like, listen to what I'm saying for real. So... People didn't want me to travel via this coronavirus, but because I have a deeper understanding of the true nature of our reality, I know that that is self-limiting beliefs. I know that it is a scare tactic to keep your vibration low, to stop you from living your life and to just stagnate you. Understand that we as humanity are in a very important time in life. And if you've given up on everything else in your life, I'm gonna be that person to tell you rise to the occasion. Go live your life. 
chase your bliss you are good enough it does not matter what or who you used to be it don't matter if you used to sell your puss or you used to sling drugs you don't have to keep living that you think god not gonna forgive you why wouldn't he didn't god send you here didn't god know what you was gonna do before you do it so why wouldn't he forgive you why wouldn't he still bless you you know what i'm saying so that's about it i hope y'all enjoyed my little vlog i really enjoyed myself i had the best time of my life I already knew I wasn't going to let nobody stop me or no fear or no media or no none of that shit. I wasn't going to let nothing stop me from coming here because I knew I was coming here for a big purpose. I was coming here to have my fun and I was coming here to prove a point that your life will be what you say it is. So if you say that your life is over, that there's no hope, that will be your reality. If you say that I haven't fully lived yet, but I'm ready to start living now, that reality is over also open and available to you. Continue to be inspired. Ari, your destiny advisor. Peace.